Welcome, you sexy magic mother lovers. Uh, we're actually gonna crack one today. Thank you all for watching. This is going to be a set box from Commander Masters. Let's see if this is a boom or bust box. It got busted a little bit here in the corner. So yeah, that's why I kept it. Uh, and I'm, that's why I'm gonna crack it, you know, it's, the, the inside's fine. You, as you can see here, the the packaging, I mean, it's damaged, but the packs itself are, are fine. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put this aside here. I'm going to start cracking and see if there's anything good. And, uh, yeah, today we have our Stormtrooper watching over us because, you know, this box is as valuable, valuable as, as uh, you know, uh, crazy. So, um, the... Uh, sequence of cards is different than with uh, the American boxes so uh, we're gonna see we got a planes in the front then we got the vandal blast as a uh, you guys can yeah you guys yeah maybe I should just move it up a little bit I mean yeah the camera setup is a little bit different again I've got up to here is something yeah pretty much yeah so uh, reverse engineering exclude ghostly flicker resculpt then we've got a Spectral Searchlight, Arcane Signet. That's very young, uh, iconic, but it's in every, every, every Commander set nowadays. Lightning Grease, that's really good. Uh, it has Haste and Shroud, so uh, I really like that one. And Namada and Zahid and Maelstrom Wanderer as our first rare, and Stonehoof Chieftain as our second, and Jet Medallion, that's actually worth a few pennies, so I'm gonna put the few penny cards that I know of, maybe, no, I'll just put it on the stack here, you know, it's it's fine, just put it over here, I have to say the card quality, oh, we got a uh, Riggs Mahdi Dungeon Palace, it's uh, from Commander 19, so it's worth absolutely nothing. It's a list card though, so I'm gonna put it up there. Okay, list cards go up here. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, what's going on with Commander Masters? Well, uh, set boxes are absolutely not selling because they're way too expensive. Distributors are already dropping the price, so that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, we have a lot of common stacks here, actually. That's not supposed to be. These are commons. Full art commons are like so wasteful, but okay. Makeshift munitions, a lot of aspirant. That's from uh, Eldraine, I think, from the first Eldraine, Throne of Eldraine. Legion Vanguard, Rot Shambler, huh, Wandering Strike, uh, Gormand, Victimize, okay, uh, Dan Danitha, Capshan, Paragon, yeah, Hannah, Ships, Navigator, and Vault of Champions. Vault of Champions is our rare land cycle, and then we have a Scythe Claw. And Slimefoot, the stowaway, as an uncommon foily and a token. Um, yeah, it's not selling. Uh, but I'm, and I'm not restocking until the prices drop, man, because it's just way too expensive. Even, you know, somebody needs to request, like, specifically, like, Dude, I want, uh, I'm doing it again, putting the commons in the, uh, uncommon stack. It's, yeah, it's illogical that I've put the uncommons first, but here we go. All right, there we go. Cards are slippery and thin. They don't feel like, you know, like, a. they feel flimsy. Okay, we've got Gisela. The Blade of Gold Knight, that's not the, uh, no, that's not the, that's a Gisela. Blade of Gold Knight, they got Rafik of the Many, and Org Slumlord, and, ah, Fairy Artisan, that's worth a few pennies. Ah, and we got Rain, the Academy Chancellor, as a rare, uh, rare list card, there you go. Yep, it, it's nice. It, 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 but we're not looking for nice. We're looking for heavy hitters here. So, Island, Kado, Kado, um, Kodama's Reach. That's always a, worth a few uh, few bucks. 
Snake Skin Veil, uh, I have to admit, that's still a good card. Even though it's worth not a lot, but it still can save your creature when they're targeting it. Ah, Asuza lost but seeking. And, uh, oh, well, uh, we're going to stop now because this is what I wanted to have. So, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. But, uh, hey, uh, Yuri, uh, we've talked about it a lot. And there we go. And there it is. Uh, now, I had some sleeves here, but I have no idea where I put the sleeves right now. So, I'll just have to do that later, I guess. Yeah. Because I'm a professional, and professionals don't know what they're doing. So, here we go. Doubling season. There it is, everybody. It's, um... It, it. Oh, and a foil of Swampy. And Commander Sphere, Battle Screech. Yeah, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. A Ravaging Blaze. A Sandstone Oracle. Lost Shell. Inga Runes. Ah, Miri, a Weatherlight Duelist. Scourge of the Throne, Scourge of the Throne, and a pre uh, Prophetic Prism, and a List Slot card, and it's Power Armor. Now, uh, uh, here, let me just show it to you. It's uh, it's not foil, it's just a regular doubling season, but still it's worth a lot of pennies. But I'm not going to sell that. That's going to end up in one of my decks, and my... Playgroup knows which deck that's going to be, and they're going to hate it even more. Uh, but, yeah. Return to Dust. That's an uncommon a full art. Ah, uh, the Meyer Triton. 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 Yeah, that's probably the right. Murder of Crows. Double Body double. Fact of Fiction. Yeah. Oh. There's Urza, the High Lord Artificer, but that's worth like absolutely nothing anymore. Um, it's like what eight bucks or something. Then we got Specter, uh, Spectator Seating, and we have another rare that's a Rune Scarred Demon. So Path to Exile, Foil Uncommon. There you go. Path to Exile is always a welcome. Uh, Welcome card, even if you cast it on one of your own tokens or something, you know, to get another land, uh, that really works. It, it, it can help out. Kodama's Reach, once more, full art. Skipping the commons. Once again, I still think that a product like Aftermath was a good idea. Oh, Rogue's Passage, that's a good one. Um... Audric, the Master Tactician, and Nesting Dragon, another dragon. Hmm. Factor Fiction, that really looks, that looks really good, doesn't it? And City Blessing Token. This, um, though, thus far, well, double season, nice, but, um, yeah, that's not going to cut it, everyone. Elva Mystic... Uh, right now I'm, I'm down the hole, like completely. It's, it, uh, uh, ah, ah, <laughs> Sun Quan, Lord of Wu. Creatures you control have horsemanship. Yeah, this is one of the better cards, everyone. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a really good card to get. Sun Quan, Lord of Wu. Verdant Confluence, Starving Extinction. Um, if you make that your commander, it, it really becomes hard for the opponent to uh, block your creatures because they can't. Uh, because, well, if they don't want to have horsemanship, which they probably don't, you can attack anybody. Nadir's Nightblade in full art. Uh, corpse Augur, Animal Magnetism, Slimefoot, and Carador, the Ghost Chieftain, and Heavenly Blade Master as two rares, Legion Vanguard, and a treasure token. Yeah. Um, this this uh, set, um, people have massively rejected it. In, um, now, people do sort of want the collector boxes a little bit. Because there's value in them if you get, like, what I had, uh, a 
some kind of foil. Uh, oh, there's Galta, the Primal Hunger. Uh, some foil uh, jeweled lotus or something. Yeah, then uh, Sower of Discord, Emerald Medallion. Yeah, I should put the medallions aside though, but uh, Hellkite Charger and a Generous Gift. It's become an uncommon, or it's become uncommon. I think that wasn't uncommon before, like in the other sets. Not sure though. All right, uh, uh, that card, these do not pay for the box. Let me be clear, but we're not there yet. So we're, we're, we're still, you know, the jury's not out. Uh, Scourge. Yeah. That, that doesn't, you know, it's not worth anything. Uh, Duretti, not worth anything. I know that. Azuri's Predation. Now I have no idea if that's worth anything. For each creature your opponent's control, create a 4-4 for Phyrexian Beast for Creature token. Each of those tokens fights a different one of those creatures. Um, that uh, It sounds like a really good card. So it's an 8 drop. And Valduk, Keeper of the Flame. Uh, and ah, all that glitters. Uncommon from Eldrain once again. Um, the Eldrain set that's coming out, Wilds of Eldrain. People really are excited about it. As am I. I'm really curious on what that set's going to bring us. Uh, Myriad Landscape. Okay. Uh, Command Tower. Yeah. Um, Hunter's Insight. Ah, the Beastock Giant. Once again. That's another Eldrain card, man. Another Eldrain card. And a Queen Marchesa, she got demoted, I think. She used to be a mythic, right? Oh, Deadly Rollick. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, wait, I remember, I recognize that art. I'm going to I'm gonna put it up here because it's. Uh, I know it's worth uh, a few pennies. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't want to screw that up. So Deadly Rollick, everyone. It's in this box as well. Is there also Jewel Lotus in this box? Because that would make my day, you know, getting a, a Sun Quan and a, 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 and a Jewel Lotus. That would be, uh, whew. All right, Generous of Gift. Well, um, but Eldrain, uh, Wilds of Eldrain, um, let's not forget that set is going to be epic. Everyone is excited about it. Now, of course... That might also make the expectations a little bit high. Uh, but there is going to be a, a reprint, at least that they promised, a reprint of Rick, the Steadfast Leader. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if they're going to do it. Uh, I haven't I haven't paid attention that much. Oh, look, there's Reliquary Tower. That's, that's nice. A Myriad Landscape. Uh, the Awakener, and then we got Godo, the Warlock Bandit, and we have Rejuvenating Springs. That's another uh, that's another rare land cycle. And then we have Commander. You may exile two a blue card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Gain control of target non-creature spell. You may choose new targets for it. Um, Artifact, Enchantment, or Planeswalker, the permanent enters the battlefield under your control. Okay. So, but it's a seven. Uh, well, you can exile two blue cards from your hand. So, mm, well, that can be nice. And Hammer of Nazan in foil. And then we got the five alarm fire. List card. Uh, and uh, whenever a creature you control does a common damage, put a... Blaze counter on five par, uh, alarm fire. Say that, f say that fast twenty times. Huh? Five alarm fire. Five alarm fire. Yeah. Remove five blaze counters from five alarm fire. Five alarm fire deals five damage to target creature or player. Okay. I, that can be a nice card too. But there are so many nice cards in this game. It just it making a selection is really hard. But. Uh, I try to, but uh, now nah, I don't get it. We haven't gotten any real slivers yet. Big slivers and oh, Thrawn Dynamo. That does look really cool. I have to say, it's not foil, but this does look really cool. I like that artwork. 
But then again, it's uh, not worth that much as far as I know, because people are not fan of new arts. So, uh, uh, Sephara, Skyblade, worth absolutely nothing. Champion's Helm. And we got uh, Sidisi, the Brute Tyrant, Naga Shaman. Okay, in foil. Um, so we got uh, three, six, nine packs left. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, there's a list card in the back. How do I know? How do I know? People ask me, how do I know that there's a list card in the back? Because there's no, you know, see, th these these don't have any artwork on the front of the back with the Magic the Gathering text. So you know that it's, that it's a list card. Um... Relicary Tower in full art. I like uh, I like this, man. I really like it that they do change the artwork sometimes. Uh, Shire, okay. I mean, the, the alternate arts are going to appreciate a lot better. Even though it's an uncommon, they will probably get more valuable. Ooh, Kozilek, the Great Distortion. Well, I'll take it. I've, I already have them like twice now, I think. Oh, and Demonic Tutor. Ah, oh, I wanted that one. That's one of the... I have Vampiric Tutor, but... Uh, shuffle your library. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand and then shuffle. This one is the best one. There's no side effects. The only thing is that it's a sorcery. But... Uh, so, yeah, I got five Mythics now and the Deadly Rollick. Oh, we got six Mythics. Oh, <laughs> this is another sword, everyone. It's a list slot card. It's a, it, but I'm gonna put it up here with the mythics, not in the list pile. The sort of war and peace. I don't have that one yet, so that is really nice. Oh, you quick PDG plus plus two plus two protection from red and from white. Oh, that's one of the. Those colors are my uh, playgroup's favorites. Well, for for a lot of them, um, a burnished heart. Uh, Ashnot's Altar, oh, Morophon. Well, Morophon is, um, um, yeah, it's a cool card, but uh, I have to say there's a lot of them out there, and I had a lot of them in uh, from my Modern Horizons time that I, you know, because it's from Modern Horizons 1. To the Nail, Vindictive Lich is the two rares, Generous Gift and a Token Soldier. Morophon was one of my favorite commanders because it's five color and you can pick whatever you want. He's a shapeshifter, so he's he is everything. And then um, you choose a creature type, and that creature type gets um, plus one, plus one. So, yeah. Faithless looting. Cadaver imp. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. This is the yeah the common pile. Yeah, before I start making mistakes again. Eternal witness... Final Parting, uh, Zajin, Zada, and Stitcher, Geralt, uh, and Obscuring Haze. That is the uh, from the same series as uh, um, Deadly Rollick, though, but it's not uh, it's not that valu valuable. It's actually one of the I think it's the least valuable one. Yeah, I think white is even less. Uh, or is even more than the green one. I'm not sure though. Uh, generous gift, counter spell. Yeah, we all know that. Uh, Cure to wrath, bastion of remembrance. That's a good card if you're doing a ping deck. Sakio, okay, and evacuation. Return all creature cards to their owner's hands. Oh, that is such a nasty card, especially if you're playing a token deck and somebody does that to you. So, uh, and it's from, uh, I think, Mirage or something. Uh, I'm not sure. It's from one of the older sets. Uh, and apparently, it's not a uh, reserve list. So, Thought Vessel, Felwar Stone, another Thrawn Dynamo, Ghost of, yeah, oh, Rankle. Well, Rankle used to be good, but Idol of Oblivion, uh, Song of the Dryads, Sandstone Oracle, and another token from an Eldrazi. I think we've got four packs left. So, 
Uh, yeah, overall, um, it's I think it's an okay box. I'm not sure if I got, you know, cream near. Uh, <laughs> there are some good... Um, there are some good uh, rares in here, or mythics in here, so Obnixilis is worth absolutely nothing. So, Sword of the Animus, that's always worth a few pennies. Sword of the Animus is one of the better ones, I think. Um, yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it. There's probably not going to be anything worth uh, noticing in this box anymore, but you know, you never know. It's not, not going to be the first time that I'm going to pull something really big from, uh, from a box. Champion's Helm, plus two, plus two, as long as it has hexproof. Oh, that's nice. And it's full art. And we got Cranko. Oh, we have a uh, Crater Hood, be Crater Hoof Behemoth. Uh, yeah, a Steel Shaper gift. Okay. Crater Hoof Behemoth. That is another mythic. And uh, I take my words back. There is, you know, the chance of getting something better uh, in the bottom packs is, well... Crater Hoof is not one of the worst cards, so <laughs> yeah, I might even. Oh, yeah, Ulamog, the Path Razor, another Sidisi, and oh, Finale of Devastation. I already have that one, but I'll take it. I mean, I don't have it in here, but I, I've got it from War of the Spark. Divergent Transformations, uh, Courage and Gifts. All right, last pack, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Uh, this was really cool. I, I enjoyed opening this. So value-wise, I have no idea right now if it's worth more than what I've paid for it. But probably not, because uh, the boxes here are even more expensive than in uh, the United States, I believe. So, uh, and then we have Chaloner, Dimension Master, Toxic Deluge. Toxic Deluge, that's actually a good rare and bribery.